we have 20 primary school and three junior secondary school. All of these schools are shut down. Kala Buka was a former assistant head teacher at Doru local government in Borno State, but his primary school was attacked in 2014 by insurgents. They killed his colleagues and pupils. He said 20 primary schools, three junior secondary schools, and two senior secondary schools were raised by the attackers. While he fled to Aono in Borno State, some of his former students are in Niger Republic, and the separation has affected their education. He is now a head teacher in Aono, but the effects of insecurity on the children's education linger. By 2014, insurgency happened. We left the community due to the different location. Some are living there, some are living in Niger, some are in other another state of Nigeria. Some are living in Chad, but those who are living in Niger, some are doing businesses. Some are farming activities. Late Hanato Abubakar also survived an attack on her school in Monguno in 2009, where she saw her friends abused and killed by the attackers. Her uncle said although she relocated to another school in Midugure, she had a mental breakdown which affected her academic performance. Almost all girls' schools in Ubano State who are closed except those in the city. And so when she came back from Monguno, we were really trying to look for where to really fix her. That actually affected her more uh, air. And attempts to really fix her into other school was quite difficult. But we subsequently have to really enroll her. And from there, her education has never been the same because this is somebody who has settled, she lost her friends, she lost her social networks. Issues related to adopting and adjusting in new school was not easy to have because we really saw that in her performance. She ended up grad, I mean, finishing her secondary school with uh, not the best we were expecting. She got married. We lost her to maternal complications, which this is one thing that she has been dreamed of becoming. Due to insurgency, at least five schools from the ravaged local governments are merged into one in the peaceful areas, which becomes difficult to manage because of inadequate resources. As far as education is concerned, in the Northeast, I must tell you that government has a lot to do, not only government, everybody, any person that knows that he is a stock a stakeholder in education, he has to come in. I believe there is a lot of improvement. But I must tell you that this is not enough. We have to get a lot of hands that will be helping our schools, both public and private. Unless this was done or is done, I think we have a long way to go as far as education is concerned.